What's going on you guys? So today is gonna to be a quick video. I'm gonna tell you Instagram's new feature for photographers in particular, but really everybody, how you can get more promotion from your pictures with this 10 second little tip. So let's start. At the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can get a free copy of the daily planner that I use every single day and it has at least doubled my productivity, if not more, and I'm gonna show you how you can get it yourself too. So very recently, Instagram went ahead and released the ability for you and I to add alt tags into our photographs and more importantly, edit the alt tags later on if we wish. Now here's something that you need to know about alt tags and the second point is how you and I can benefit as photographers because of alt tags. Alt tags were originally intended for the visually impaired. If they had a computer uh, reading to them the blog post, the ebook, the article, the pictures were largely gone without them understanding why it was there. So if you are visually impaired, they would at least tell you there is a picture associated and here is what the picture is about. Now, that's very helpful and that's a, a great asset to have, but there's a secondary purpose for it. How many times have you gone onto Google or Bing or Yahoo and searched by image, not by the actual feed? If you're a photographer and you are mood boarding, you are looking for samples, oftentimes you visit the images tab. So being able to control the alt tags within your pictures actually is a gigantic asset. So that's gonna help people on Instagram find you better, but also on the internet. So we're gonna go ahead and break down an Instagram post and you're gonna be able to see how I did it. All right, so let's go through the steps. I'm gonna go ahead and do one. I'm gonna use a picture of my godson, Nathan. We're on top of a parking lot playing hot lava and I decided to take a picture of him. So this is our example. Now remember, I'm gonna go ahead and post one picture, but with Instagram's features, you can of course put up to 10 pictures and do a slideshow feature. So first thing, go ahead and upload a picture as you traditionally do. The second step is pick a filter if you wish to pick a filter or do the adjustments at the bottom by clicking edit. And for people who are not photographers, this is a known fact. If you put a filter on a photographer's picture, an angel photographer in heaven gets its wings ripped off. So don't do that. Step three, you're now on the page where you can go ahead and put a caption in your picture. But if you go to the bottom of that page in a smaller font and less visible in gray, there is something called advanced settings. Click the advanced settings. Step four, so now that you're in the advanced setting, go all the way to the bottom of the page and find write all text and click that. In there, try to use as many of your keywords that are relevant to your posts and your content. So in my case, I put silhouette of a little boy during a sunset pointing at an airplane. So if we were to allow the Google bots or the their algorithm or their AI, whatever it is that determines what is in the picture, they may miss that it's a little boy um, pointing at an airplane. They'll probably get the little boy pointing, they'll get the sunset, but maybe that airplane part won't make it. So why let the automated system figure out what's in your pictures when you're the photographer and you should be able to tell it what you took a picture of. So use a keywords that's going to help you get discovered on Instagram, on Google, and other search engines. The next screen shows you exactly what happens if you have multiple pictures. They just line up right below each other and you go ahead and you fill those out as you want. That's it, and then you just post your picture as normal. This whole thing should take no more than 10 seconds, and I recommend that you go back and just block out 20 minutes of your time and go back and do as many pictures as you can. The cool thing about it is that Instagram lets you go back and edit pictures and add the alt tags that you want. So if you are a local photographer, you can go ahead and put in the city's name, the exact town's name, and what kind of photography it is. Now, how you're going to show up on Instagram, no one is sure yet, but obviously you probably will get better placement in the explore page, in addition to the hashtags, in addition to the description of what your channel is about. But on Google, Bing, or other search engines, you're just putting in more information so that search engine can bring you up higher in the rankings when somebody is searching for what you're offering. So if you can help your pictures rank, a lot of times people will start at the picture, click the picture, and then they will click visit website and then they'll find you. So why not make it easier if they're giving you that feature, 
make it easier to be discovered, make it easier for people to find you, and make it easier to get more clients and put your work out there more. If you're interested in learning more, click subscribe right down below, click like, leave a comment. I read all my comments. And also if you're looking for a daily planner, something that I use every single day and I have used it and I credit it for the boost in my career, you can get a free download now by signing up down below. There's a link in the description.